A good evening, this is to Nerdist to Human, and welcome to this, the finale of our Islamic Holy Roman Empire campaign. And you join us here outside Dijon, where you can see the mass conversion is now taking place. The plan today is very much to tie up a few loose ends and essentially kill France, to be honest. Um, they're not a war of us at the moment. I think we had a very brief war earlier when they sent two units to Genoa. But apart from that, they've um, they smashed into Dijon here in between the two episodes, um, I think about four times. There's not a lot of men left in here, but um, this general himself. Um, I've, I always read this as uh, Balthazar. Balthazar, I mean. But uh, it's not, sadly. Uh, he seems to have single-handedly kept the French out, so we love him. We're going to go murder him just to make sure he has a glorious death. So, we're going to go smash up France pretty soon. We've, uh, we've got Dijon. We did manage to take Bern, of course. And Bordeaux is under siege. Plenty of forces no, gathering over in this part of the world. Pretty darn nice army oh, at Bordeaux, back. it should be said. Plenty of dismantled feudal knights and some of our Teutonic knights as well. Those are classic Muslim warriors, of course. Get now, up. moving on from that, we obviously have the Portuguese to go and finish off. So uh, they're one oh, turn from presumably sallying forth in defence of Lisbon. Cordoba doesn't have much left. They sent their force over here to try and guard it, I think. They've left it too late, to be honest. I'm quite happy sitting here for that siege. We'll let Granada stick around. We're uh, just going to complete the conquista here. Uh, take a little bit late, to be honest. Um, yeah, Historically, Muslims are pretty close to taking over much of Iberia several centuries before this. But we're going to finally complete the job. Lisbon will fall and thus will Cordoba afterwards. Um, who else do we hate on the map here? Oh, there's a pope. We'll probably we'll kill a pope or two. But that's not really the main thing. The main thing is Sicily. Yes, Sicily. God bless, noble lord. <laughs> God bless you. Please don't kill me. Indeed, uh, the Sicilians need to go down. We have uh, Tripoli over here. Or as I prefer to call it, Lepsis Magna, of course. Who we do it? have a that couple of assassins who are both terrible. They're going to yeah, fail at killing the uh, general here. Which, this might end up a little bit like uh, Assassination for the Nation at the end of our Kawa Union campaign. Which was uh, one of my favourite... I watched that back recently. I think I was making the... Uh... Oh, he failed. It's a random bloke this time. Not the screen. Yeah, I was watching that back uh, to make my end cards for uh, the Camel yeah, Union campaign. And uh, I must say, the start... Well, particularly Who the start, but that episode that in general, the final episode of Kalmar, I really very much enjoy that one. King Dio, can we take you down? I suspect, no, these are two rookies here. Is it going to... No. Just blokes. There are no women in the streets um, over here for Sicily. Interesting. Stormed, Kaiser. Oh Stormed. well, there we go. Another failed attempt. A little bit sad that. Now we are actually allies, by the way, with the uh, Byzantine Empire. I can't remember if this was um, between recordings or not. Honestly, I have no idea at this point. They're our friends. They um, probably hate us. It's in their history. Yeah, we pay them a little bit of money, but it's only 250 a turn, so I don't mind that ticking along. We have two friends. Look how amazing that is. Oh, magnificent. They all hate me, these guys. But it's not as bad as it could be. Um, considering this is supposed to be an experiment to see how uh, how changing one of the Catholic factions over to uh, being Muslim would, would affect the game. I'm actually quite impressed at how well the diplomacy is held together. Obviously, I've been using my uh, diplomacy fix on this particular campaign. But even so, even so, I would have thought the um, yeah, change of faith would make... A big impact on that. But Poland are quite happy to leave me. So are uh, Hungary, he says. They'll probably both declare war by the end of the episode. Don't be surprised because, um, yeah, once I take the aggressive stance against France, I suspect the rest will uh, pounce me very quick. I might just um, be ready to jump into all their cities at once. That might be fun. We'll definitely have a good, uh, good masochistic end to a series. It's always the way we like to leave it. Um, lovely. Right, well, let's end our turn. Let's uh, most likely go and take Lisbon. Indeed, the Portuguese are coming in for a poke. And I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. We have ourselves, yeah, Swordstaff Militia, who I quite like. Quite rarely seen, to be honest, but they're pretty solid. No heavy mail, which is for the best. A few Genite, who, of course, are pretty lovely. I've already made it very clear how much I love those guys. We were, we'll shoot them from a distance with our crossbows with any luck. As for Gilhermi Frojas over here, I murdered that pronunciation. He's coming in with some reinforcements. Dauntless, so plus morale, of course. Nothing else too interesting, though. His other stats are too good, so no need to worry too much, I think. Blisses will never make the battle. A few mercenaries, but honestly, yeah. I, if this is the main force, 
I, you know, there'd be a little bit of a fight, but no, they'll, they'll be uh, they'll be split up. No real issue here. Right, let's uh, let's pen them in. Let's slaughter them. It gives us more to kill. Yes, the masochistic German approach to things seems to be coming back. Ooh, Bobby flaming Bobby shots Bobby of Bobby doom. Bobby no, they are the wrong Bobby wrong Bobby person. Bobby Shoot, flaming Bobby shots. Bobby Burn them all straight into whoever's at the back of that pile. Let's have some beautiful juicy, juicy murder here. Oh, I do like it when it's lined up for that. Okay, uh, I do normally just move my men back immediately, but on this particular occasion, looks like they are setting themselves up for um, a bit of slaughter at the gate here with the flaming orange. So we'll just take a poke and we'll uh, just get on with it, really. This hopefully will do some lovely, lovely work. Get on to flaming view. Come on, lads. Yes! Flaming lasagna. Oh, that's what we need to see. Okay, good start there. Good start. Charge in if they're going to. No, don't charge in. Why don't I tell them to charge in? Don't need to charge in at all, lads. You'll be absolutely fine. Um, got the cab over there. These cab actually should probably get into pokey position. And I think. Oof, some random shots there. Didn't look like the best shot in the world, but we'll, uh, we'll keep giving them a poke. Jinate probably need to be the ones to start going down, but they seem to be charging at us. Very strange. Okay, shoot those uh, sword soft militia in the back. I don't think there'll be too much to worry about here. They seem to be coming in. Charge out of the way. Oh, they're so slow. I've been playing. I've been playing Rome, and no one's moving anymore. <laughs> okay, just uh, just just don't worry about that. That's absolutely fine at this point. Okay, uh, Pavis lads, just uh, just shoot them. You guys get on top of those chaps. I'm sure we'll be fine. The reinforcement general is here, and he seems determined to take on this one unit of feudal knights who was uh, yeah, just mopping up the odd men here or there. We'll lead him towards Death Valley over here. No, we'll no, we'll just muck it up and misclick. That's absolutely fine. Okay, let's uh, charge in these chaps. Charge in uh, into the into the valley of into the into the valley. Okay, okay, that worked eventually. Uh, just start charging them in. I think we've got them at this point. Reinforcements are starting to emerge. There's some crossbowmen over there. We need to go deal with them. Infantry, hold your ground. You're in a good position, to be honest. Yeah, it progresses well for the empire. Indeed, we need to chop some down. So we'll get our uh, other... Oh, the cab are charging straight through it. I've actually had this battle... Um, yeah, a uh, very rare occasion on this game, but I did have it actually crash. So uh, that's a little bit annoying, particularly when my cab last time ran into the back of my own unit. So um, hopefully this time we'll do with that. That is the general gone. Marvellous news. And you can go and take out those crossbowmen. Marvellous. That is beautiful. You, sir, get yourself over here. With him gone, I think that's pretty much the battle done. The start to uh, yeah, overwhelm all of the rest of them. Another general down, and with that, we're pretty much there at this stage. Uh, I don't think they've got very much left to offer. Indeed, yeah. The last couple of units are getting caught out. They're broken. Hard to tell with the Portuguese flag, because they're already... Um, using the white, obviously. Right, get on top of them. That's pretty much the game over at this point. All of my missiles just start running off over there. Stop shooting. Don't cause them any more problems. Looks like uh, Lisbon is ours. Ah, so the English have put us under siege. I, did, I had half seen that coming, I should say. You know, there's an army. Well, you won't notice anymore. You can't see it. Uh, there was an army hovering around just outside. Ah, the rebels are uh, going to give us a poke. Yes, yeah, so there was a there was an army standing in between a couple of my cities there between Frankfurt and Hamburg. So um, I kind of anticipated something coming to hire up some mercs. Deal with those next time. Time to deal with Balthazar. Come on, sir. It's quite a nice little battlefield. This beautiful scenery, a lovely day. Flaming arrows coming into their crossbowmen and some mailed knights galloping out of the forest to meet them. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. We're just going to turn them off all to fire for a moment. The knights are going to gallop out of the trees. They're going to miss their charge completely because, yeah, uh, that was that was kind of terrible. Okay, lads, uh, if you go on to shooting these guys, that will be ideal. Start pulling out of there, sir. Start, start pulling out of... Okay, well, one of their generals has engaged. It's literally Balthazar himself by the looks of it. But that's absolutely fine. Um, our infantry probably need to move forward at this point because our lads have won, ran way too far forward. Just send the infantry in. 
Just send the infantry in. By the way, this is an incredibly uh, experienced and powerful general, so we should be in a fairly good position for all of this nonsense. Um, he's completely surrounded by infantry and a mailed knight, so we'll just leave him to it at this point. All the missiles can just shoot someone. I don't really care. These guys, I guess. Where are it? It's running through. God knows what they're doing. Take care of those mercs. I think we'll be okay. Lovely stuff. Now, Malfazar himself... Um, Oh, he's an incredible list of stats, by the way. He is like all the best military retinue you could possibly ask us, ask for anyone. Um, infantry, you're probably best off just holding off on the hill here. That's absolutely fine. And my missiles can just kind of reconvene in a slightly better position. Marvelous stuff. My general should be okay in there, but um, general, right? General would like support from his cavalry any time. Wow, that was an impressive turn and charge there from these chaps. Um, where are they? Where are they going? Who are they charging at? I mean, I mean, he's a tactical genius, but that may have been one too far. You know, sometimes when someone's uh, renowned for being particularly innovative in their in their sphere, you know, like someone like Pep Guardiola um, in the football, he just tries to be too clever in the end. At the start, he was really, you know, innovative, and now he's just a bit of a mentalist. Right, all units, just uh, charge in. I think we can just take care of uh, good old Bathazar. It's just him. He's just going to go and finish his lot against some mercenary crossbowmen. Don't know what they've ever done to uh, upset him. There we go. Probably hundreds of thousands of them from the French being sent. There we go. There we are with that. Um, this otherwise completely un... Uh, an interesting battle can finally be sorted. Let's uh, let's just finish them off, shall we? Well, a few turns later then, and England are indeed going to come take us on. But it's some reinforcements who have appeared as I besieged the city. So we've got to take on two forces here in one go. Uh, it's going to be out in the open field, so it should be a fairly uh, even battlefield, I would think. Lots and lots of cat or armoured swordsmen. Okay, they've got no general, but some good units here. I should be okay with my decent general and, well, a big pile of mercenaries, but they should be good enough. As long as I've got enough cav to take up their cav, we should be fine. The reinforcements, yeah, these are mostly trash. A lot of peasants, town militia and spear militia. Odd bit of cavalry here or there. Okay, we'll be absolutely fine, I think, but we've just got to be careful with the first force. They could cause us a few problems. Let's head in. Fairly simple battlefield for our encounter here today. Fairly flat, I've got a slight advantage actually. They are walking into a valley down here, so um, we can early charge in with some of this cav just to make sure we take out one or two units where possible. So let's send in a few thunderous charges, see what they can do. Might just cause a problem or two. And uh, yeah, actually, we're from this angle. They are going a little bit up the hill here, so we can cause a few issues. Armoured swordsman, hopefully, Actually pull out of there we will have done some good damage uh yeah we destroyed about half the unit with that charge okay all of these guys probably get straight out of there we just want to charge in and pull straight back out a couple more charges coming in to finish off the uh initial charge here um i'm being blinded by the sun um and not the rising sun here the rising sun from behind my computer so um i should probably try and deal with those curtains right uh, send these chaps back, please. There are some cavalry charging forward here. We should probably get straight into them just to make sure that they get dealt with. Um, they're going to charge straight into my spearmen. Spearmen all at the front, by the way. That'll be fine. They're going to get themselves murdered. Now, as for the rest of these guys, how are we getting on? We'll probably try and pick off one or two of these units. Yeah, mailed knights. Two units into them, please. You two just pick off those guys. They're going to stand around like lemons or melons, or whatever kind of fruit we want to choose today for our weird analogies. Now, if we can send, um, have we got one of those routing? Yes, you're routing, I don't know why you're routing. Uh, you really, really shouldn't be, but there we go. We'll send these guys out to the flank, and we'll, uh, we'll close the trap on them momentarily. Right, as for these chaps, they seem to have done, uh, there's nine of them there. Yeah, they're doing the job, they're doing the job. You guys turn around and face those chaps. Uh, any charges from their cab to us will be in vain. We do just need to try and deal with these armoured swordsmen with a charge or two. That will be quite important for us. 
We've got these guys surrounded. They should all break almost immediately. These guys are down to 22. They're pretty much gone. There goes the general as a pause. And with that, I think we should be absolutely fine with this first lot of units here. Yeah, just start getting into the back of all of those chaps. And there's probably, yeah, one of you. One of you turn around and get those mailed knights, please. It's going to be a few annoying shots on the ballista if I'm not careful. A few more holler hol bars over there. They won't last very long. You know what? Let's just send the infantry forward. Charge the infantry. I'm sure they'll be able to uh, do whatever's left. I can't really see very well. It's a very strange night. Oh, there's some armored swordsmen right here. Ah, okay. Well, time to get in then. There's a shot into my crossbowmen, but a charge into the rear. That's them gone. Yeah, this battle is as good as done. Right, all infantry just start getting forward at this point. We'll get on top of the hollow bars. I think it's time to, um, yeah, mop up these lads and get ready for the second wave. The second army is facing up to us right now. We're just going to charge straight into their peasant archers. Why the AI decides to run them forward, I don't know. It's not even really a trap, it's just a bit strange. So we're going to shoot ourselves in the back of our crossbowmen, which won't be part of the plan, and we're going to pull out very, very quickly indeed. We'll get those uh, cavalry around the back, into the back, as you might expect them to do. And uh, ah, they're done with mopping up the opponents. So we'll get our light cav to swing over to that flank, just to make sure we can mop them up in a little bit. Right, uh, we'll let them wander towards us slowly, because that'll probably end well for us. We'll just keep on charging into them. This battle is, well, we've got the heavier cav, but we are quite weak. Nope, we've managed to win it anyway. That is grand. Into those mailed knights, lads, between you, you should be absolutely golden. And with that, yeah, we're just uh, now shaping up against them. I don't think they're going to last all that long. With any luck, we should get an empty city to take over at the end of all this. That's what I'm, uh, what I'm hoping for. May or may not happen. Mailed knights over there are going to get on top of our lads. Probably best if we avoid them, actually, chaps. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I've never seen cavalry, heavy cavalry that manoeuvrable in all my life on this game. That is an absolute joke. Anyway, um, we'll just charge in our lads into them. These guys can smash into the back of those peasants. I'm sure they'll be fine. And um, yeah, these guys have pulled out because... They're yeah, absolute gibbons. Nonetheless, the light cav are doing a good bit of work to charge into the rear. We'll send them back to go deal with the mailed knights at this point. Infantry, let's just start getting a charging because sometimes I forget to uh, charge my infantry. So let's just start getting them forward. Smashy, smashy. They're mostly pretty terrible at this stage. So uh, yeah, we'll just, just get on top as much as possible. That should pretty much be the job there. So, uh, Jimmy, if you want to join in, maybe hit those heavy spearmen at the rear, something like that. That will be ideal. They broke as soon as they escaped. Why they did that, I don't know. They actually could have won us this battle here if they actually bothered. Um, lost a few too many cavalry for my liking here, but hey ho, we're going to win the uh, infantry engagement momentarily anyway. Yeah, spear militia here. That's probably about as good a unit as they have. Just keep on charging forward. Generals hitting their levy spearmen, but they're overwhelmed, they're wavering. Yeah, look, they are, their infantry's falling apart. They've got like one unit of cav on us now, but aside from, um, aside from slightly overusing the cav early here, we've done a pretty good job. Um, hopefully we can retrain those in a moment or two. So let's just smash up all of these infantry engagements. They're going to eat their own charge. And yeah, with that, we should be fine just to um, pile on top of what's left. 35, 72% of theirs. My general is a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit in trouble. But he's managed to survive it in the end. Crush them. We have killed them all, or at least they're running. So, uh, yeah, let's get back on top of them. Light Cav, get back into battle. Yeah, a few too many Light Cav gone, but to be honest, we face two armies. First time we lots of Cav themselves. So, um, yeah, I'll take that. Should, if we can mop up enough of these guys, that should be... Uh, Hamburg back under our control. We're probably need to launch a counter-attack over towards England. Oh yes, that's a pretty good victory when you look at it with those numbers. So uh, yeah, 300 odd lost for us. We pretty much wiped them out there at 93% killed. So yeah, that should be the castle or the city. Is it a city right now? City back under our control. I think we'll be executing those. Yeah, that's all of their forces eliminated. Might just have to make sure I've got... Um, Yes, follow AI movement off. Come on, skip all of that nonsense. And yeah, with that, we have ourselves the city. Shall we um, Shall we sack them for giving in to the English? 
Uh, now nah, we'll occupy. We'll be nice. They are our people after all. Sicily, I don't think we're actually at war with them right now. So perhaps they want to be friends. Most likely not. No, everyone's just um, just wasting our time. Oh. And of course we have Bordeaux as well, which is marvellous good news. We'll just occupy that. The French are probably going to be irritated and they'll immediately declare war of us, even though they've had the entire game to do that. To, oh, four units of Teutonic Knights over in Hamburg, in Frankfurt. That is very nice time indeed. Very nice timing. Now, Hamburg, we need to get some more info, some more uh, cavalry trains. So we're going to send you over here. You can retreat. Oh, yeah, you're not a castle either. Where's the cut? There's the castle. Okay, that wasn't the most clever move in the world. We're going to get some men retrained and we are going to get those sent over there. There's a Scottish like army floating fleet. around. Yeah. So I need to just be a little bit careful. I wanted to try and get these guys over into Oslo. Just so we have a couple units. Just one or two extras would be quite nice. So Scotland are currently neutral, but I don't trust them. So uh, I'll just make sure you've got a couple extra men in there. Right, Bordeaux has fallen to us. Pretty solid army, all things considered. Got ourselves more forces gathering over at Pamplona. We're looking pretty good. We're going to um, fill up a couple yeah. boats, I think was the plan. Yes, that was the plan, wasn't it? And we're going to send... These guys were supposed to get on the boats. Okay, we'll send, send some of the boats back. And we'll pick them up. Okay, these guys are going to come over here as well. Some spear militia. They can probably just look after the town. And yeah, we're going to launch an attack on England or the English territories. I'm going to hold off on France for a moment because we're currently still neutral. Be it, I imagine that's going to end right about now, to be honest, because uh, I think we got to that point, ladies and gents, where everyone is declaring war no matter what. I have declared a holy war on, uh, yeah, oh, on uh, Normandy here. So um, quite a few priests converting it over, 50% already, which is nice there. Doing some good scout networking as well, which is marvellous. I think the French, to be honest, aren't particularly strong. I reckon we can bulldoze them quite easily since we try and turn the screw. Oh yes, of course, Adolf Windeck. He looks quite good. Oh, See the guy who married the princess? I think he was, but she unfortunately was only four ability. Didn't really get any bonus stuff, so um, that's a shame. You go and join the cavalry. Our, uh, good old legendary Teutonic Knights, those great heroes of Islam, of course. And we'll send those up oh, north. Like... We'll gather up an army over here at Hamburg. We'll... I'll tell you what, I'm going to get a couple merchant cav just to retrain a little bit of um, just general men to look after the city. And oh, otherwise Kaiser. we'll get some men refreshed over here. We've got to launch ourselves a nice counter-attack on all of England. So uh, we'll get those lined up. And otherwise Poland don't look like they're going to attack us just yet. These two seem okay. The rest of it, I don't really trust any of it whatsoever. And the French have immediately attacked Dijon. So there we go, the massive war with everyone has begun. It's the forever war. And I think there is only one solution for that. That is to smash up France and England. And I think that's how we are going to finish off the episode today. We're going to destroy France and England in one huge demented charge. Portugal are just being bled slowly to death over here in Cordoba. So we'll leave them. We'll let Spain and Sicily vaguely exist on their strange little African escapade over here. But quite frankly, yeah, it's time to start bringing in the forces over to Marseille. I've been getting a few boats ready. There are actually already a few forces on their way over there. But over here, I can get the Savaihander, which is lovely. So it'd be nice to use these chats before we finish up. So I'm going to collect a few of my forces over here. Some dismounted Imperial Knights and the Savaihander to get into battle. Now, oh, he's stuck over there at the moment. Okay, um, we're going to go take our lead friend. You can come and look after Palermo. Palermo, though, is uh, yeah, going to have this chap go off with the good well a good set of forces anyway we're gonna go over and smash marseille that should be marvelous good work you're going to go back to calgary for now we'll swing this way and we'll go by palermo so it'll be a little while until we smash up marseille but that's pretty much in the bag now okay over here i've got myself a beautiful force i was going to declare a jihad actually on england so we might have to get to that in a moment I've got to smash up this force of frenchies over here and then this bordeaux army can go and smash to lose should probably get myself a 
spy out of some of these areas. Get a spy and an assassin, to be honest. Wouldn't be the worst idea. Ah, we've already got a big pile of imams, so that's something. 84%. Yeah, should we'll probably go and, um, go and convert this area. Oh, don't need pre-conversion. Uh, in case you're wondering, one turn later, up to 62% over here in Normandy, which is marvellous. But, um, yeah, are we going to be attacking that right now? I don't know. We're going to be attacking on many, many fronts. I suspect... You are not my lead. Crusader Knights. Very nice. Um, yeah, I suspect they haven't got too much to break in here. Now we've got some Teutonic Knights. We've got some Spearmen, some Archers. Right, it's not the best army in the world. I think we have enough to actually deal with this. Let's have a, just a little look-see. Yeah, no general, but they've got a bit of experience, which is unusual for French. It's um, hard to get bad to experience when you run away. But they seem to have oh, managed it, so well done to them. Mark. So Metz has got itself a bit of a backup army. Then over here, yeah, we're just kind of sending the odd troops. They'll trickle in that direction. Fine, we're going to revamp our force over here at Hamburg. They can sail over, maybe smash up Nottingham, the citadel there. This force will declare a jihad on London very, very soon indeed. And yeah, as I say, Bordeaux's coming over here. This force is coming over to Marseille. I've got nothing over in this area, but we'll hold on with Dijon. Metz hopefully can counterattack into Rhymes. And yeah, before long, I'm pretty sure we can smash them all up. So let's grab ourselves one of our imams. Who's good enough to call a jihad? You definitely are, sir, aren't you? Yes. So where are we going to call it on? No, they're our friends. Baghdad, Cordoba, Paris, Krakow. Oh no, there's nothing English here. That's a shame. Paris. Give Paris. Okay, we can go for Paris instead. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll hop on the boat. We'll swim around to Paris. Fine. A jihad has been called by Wolf Becker. Um, okay, we're going to create an army of intentions to join the jihad. So, we will do that right now. Get ourselves straight into war. Ooh, we have ourselves some of our jihadi recruits here. And this time we're probably getting them because I guess in Iberia they are set that. I really need to um, check the mercenary list and when these guys are available. But um, I assume it's in certain regions and as part of Iberia... We will get them here. Um, now, I do like these guys. They're kind of fun, but maybe we'll have to create a second army for that. So, get on the boat, sir. Uh, get on the boat. Oh, gosh, we have ridiculous movement. Points, don't we? Okay, you get around here. Um, now, we don't have any siege equipment. If we had siege equipment, we could go and have, like, a, you know, a good old smash of Wren on our way, which would be kind of funny. But no, we'll, we'll come back to that. So we're going to come around here, drop our lads off over in uh, yeah Normandy, good old place to land, and from there we can obviously go and pounce on Paris. They've actually got a huge amount of forces over in Paris, so you might well need some other troops to get involved with all of that nonsense, so we will see. Um, I mean, it's a pretty elite army, it's as good as I've got. They might actually be able to do it by themselves simply because we've got Automatic Imperial Knights. We've got swords on our feudal knights here, so they've got themselves the nice weapon upgrade as well. So we have to look out for that, because obviously it's actually um, updated on the battlefield itself, one of the lovely features of the game here. Fine, Mets, um, we probably need to get another general over here and try and launch a jihad from this direction. So maybe we need to go relieve Dijon and need to start heading towards, well at least distracting some of the Parisian armies, because it'll be another couple turns till we actually get there. Fine. Got to smash up one or two of their forces. It's time to, uh, yeah, destroy the French. So we have Egypt and the Turks have joined in with the Jihad on France, which is marvellous. The Scottish have landed at Oslo, but just during a storm. They should probably um, take that as a sign. Their army's been smashed in half. We've hired up the Mercs. They have no chance whatsoever. Ah, the English have turned up. Um, it's the enemy. Yes, sir. Uh, it is indeed, Captain Thomas. Um, well, we're just going to get our forces gathered together over here, as many as we can. Only some cogs, unfortunately, nothing interesting there. However, we do have ourselves some men ready to go and smash Toulouse, which is beautiful. So nine turns, I'm just going to smash into the next turn. We'll see how much damage we take. It's uh, not going to be the worst thing in the world. Um, it just could be a little bit better. Dijon will have to um, put up with whatever whatever it's got, which isn't a lot. We have a... Ah, they've taken the bait a little bit. They've come to square up against us. And actually... Be gone. <laughs> you are not my 
Oh, I love the AI. The French, the French normally just have agent armies and militia armies, but now they've got themselves a Moorish army of just siege equipment and two actual units here. So there's some crosswomen. Okay, we'll go and um, smash those guys up, and that's a good opportunity to pull all these guys into the field and not beat them up in the city. Good, good, good. Right, send all of these scraps back to Metz, hopefully in time we'll be able to uh, heal some of those up. In fact, some of them are uh, just sitting around ready, so we could send those into Rhymes um, very soon if we need a little bit of support over there. Okay, that's coming together. Of course, our boat over here, they can get so far with the jihadi movement point. It's amazing. Okay, we'll uh, move these guys along here. It's kind of amusing that... Um, the Turks and whatnot are planning to show up, but uh, apparently they are. I'm just going to meet them. I'm not going to quite go all the way there right this second. Just going to some stand over here. They've got one and a half stacks there. See if I can pull them into the field. I'm just going to get all of my yeah, let's get all of my agents just scattering themselves across. Parisian territory up to 30% already which is beautiful you can be a spy over in Angers and you can head over towards is that rain I think that's what it is okay uh, those reinforcement units are over there we'll grab these forces to be honest we could probably do something with them very very soon maybe they can launch up north to gather our forces in this part of the world do have two boats here, so I can probably pick up some of these lovely, lovely units over here. I am looking forward to these Vayhanders. Now, what troops do we actually have in this town? We have a big pile of infantry, actually, so everything else from the town here can probably just be these crossbowmen and the calf. So we'll grab that. Do we have any light cab over here? We might do. No, we don't. So we'll, um, we'll probably just take what we've got. Take that unit. It's not quite full up, but that'll be fine. Mix those two together and we'll be golden. Perfect. Just get these guys to join up. They're being picky. We'll just leave that, that general one out of it. Okay, perfect. We have ourselves a force here. They're going to join up with this force over here. I think that's a perfect sized army. Indeed, it is. We'll send those over to France. Oh, yes, it's all... So hot enough now. All this time, it, oh, we're gonna kill Sicily. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, yeah, as, as you might guess, there was no intro to that particular assassination attempt. I wasn't expecting that to work. There we are. Tripoli, Tripoli's actually empty. Oh, we could walk in. Oh, boat, 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 boat. Quickly, send the boat. <laughs> Okay, um, you sir, well done, Who very well it? done indeed, they're both true. terrible, but um, just name you the get over, oh, this guy, Go this guy isn't it, Lord. we need to kill him, we could just, could just snipe him off, no, we don't want to do that, we, we could just take Tripoli, we just take Tripoli, yeah, we're walking to an empty Tripoli, that's how we're going to yeah, do it, boarding. okay, um, send you to go hunt down the new guy. That's surprisingly good. Okay, um, it's still the same turn. Yes, we were going to take on Rhymes, weren't we? Or at least the force outside Rhymes. So, what do we have? Matthias Derstrotze. You have yourself a pretty much Merc army here, but a few units of Cav scattered around. He, by the way, is an exceptional, exceptional leader at this point. He um, oh, has architect, very nice. He can do it with more retinue, actually, but he is scarred. A commander, very nice. Does he have too much to help him in battle? Sadly ignorant. Bit of a shame, because it looks like he's pretty good, all things considered. Yeah, he's got brave as well, so uh, very nice indeed. With eight chivalry, our men will fight till the very end here. Let's go take on Captain Roger, who, uh, but yes, <laughs> yeah, mainly a pile of trash. So uh, that's beautiful. And Bahamond over here in the city... Now, you can probably guess by the um, by the flag in the city. You can't really see it there. Um, oh, yeah, you can, because he's standing up right there, Thomas. Yeah, they've uh, they've got quite a few units who have batted here, so it's not as big as it looks, although some of them are quite hefty on the old experience front. So we need to be careful with the second army. The general, though, is repulsive as anything, although it does make him slightly better at... Um, yeah, actually commanding, but he doesn't seem to be all that good, all things considered he's only 16. So, um, this guy, his troops went last night, mine will fight to the very end, I think we'll be fine. 
let it in. After a little bit of cat and mouse, we seem to have finally decided on the battlefield, and I've just about grabbed myself a hill here and a little bit of a clearing, which is what I was looking for. To be honest, um, it's quite heavily forested, and I don't really like the foresty battles. Unfortunately, we haven't got to the Warhammer days of the trees completely disappearing in the forests when you uh, zoom in. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bit tricky if we get too stuck in the forest. Let's just make sure we're down to two. I don't really know where you're running, my good sir. I think I was telling you to go in that direction. But, um, yeah, perhaps, perhaps change your trajectory slightly due to the men running around at you. Town militia at the front. Nothing too much to worry about. Oh, all missiles, missiles. Back on the firing, please. I turned them off a little while ago. Um, just pause up a sec just to make sure we have any charges going on for these chaps. Yeah, just get in there. Just get in. In fact, you, sir, get into the back. That was really not the best idea of that particular charge. No, 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 no. Those knights need to get properly brutalised. As for the rest of this, just smash into those Crusader sergeants. There's a general's bodyguard over there. My general, come and join. Did you ever come over here, by the way? Uh, he's stuck in with those guys. Not a problem. We'll just get everyone on top of that general. That should be absolutely fine. Good, 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 good. So, um, in time, yeah, we'll be able to wrap them up. Actually, you smash into them. You're doing your job. General has started to peel his way through, actually. You can, yeah, just go and join that battle like I wanted you to in the first place. He's kind of getting caught between about three affairs at this point, but the charge into, yeah, that's absolutely slaughtered them. They're now officially fighting to the death, so we should probably get out of that particular situation. Doesn't it like we've largely, yep, there goes Pierre, he has collapsed, and that is pretty much it. He did not flee though, let it be known, let it be known, that Frenchman did not run away. Well done, sir, you are among the stronger of them. I've never really seen the French do very well in this game. Correct me if um, you have a different experience, but yeah, generally I, I really don't see them do very well. My general has decided, it seems, to charge into a bit of a silly situation. So actually, I'm just going to reorganise things here, just to um, make everything make a bit more sense. At this point, their cavalry seem to be completely annihilated, and what is remaining is simply routing. Probably time to press forward then, if I'm perfectly honest with this. You guys start running forward, just press into them where you need to. These guys can get around the back of those Christian sergeants. I think my cav are mainly chasing people down and can now swing in to the flanks. General, probably just get yourself into here as well. These guys need to turn into them. That would be perfect. And with that, we should largely be there. There's a few cavs struggling over here. I don't really know where the rest of your friends are, but uh, it looks like the infantry are here to reinforce at this point. Good, here come the cav. Here come the cav. You get on top of the armoured sergeants. There's someone else in this little bit of forest. Yeah, this is this is all completely done at this point. 80% has ticked over. I suspect... Yep, I suspect with that, we are going to wrap them up. General, are you actually in trouble here? Just saw one more of you died. No, we are all good. Up to eight experience. Still got ten men left, so he should probably keep it on seven or eight for the time he recharges. Well, that went surprisingly well. You are wise and noble, mon ami. Is this okay for my self-esteem? We will ransom you. They've been rejected, and with that, execution has come and befallen you, my good sir. With that, Matthias walks in to rhymes how are we looking by the way sir onto oh, under eight shivery 60 years old now i would like to keep this guy alive for as long as possible right walk into the town sack it of course that is just the way we do things 54 percent islam you can creep over the border you're trying to convert um paddy right now of course but uh we can change around rhymes while we're at it we'll build ourselves a little mosque and to be honest we've largely Got the army pretty well stocked at this point. So I've retrained those guys. They're pretty far from being trained up. Get a few of those chaps. And with that, we're probably ready to yeah move on to the next little problem. We've got Paris over here, of course. Going to see if they come in to attack us. But I think largely we're in a very good position indeed. With our spy inside Paris, then we can have a good look at their army. And it's largely not particularly good, albeit with some decent armour, it should be said. A few catapults, which can be a problem. Certainly, I've used them to quite good effect in siege defences, but to be honest, the AI isn't normally that efficient with using them. I'm kind of glad to see 
a big array of catapults to be honest they uh they're looking okay but it is still a full stack inside a city so you need to be a little bit wary about that in the meantime we do have um how do you pronounce that steve we have steve over here he needs to be taken out of course and now that looks much more like a proper army if you want catapults it should be said but lots of dismounted feudal knights who could cause us a problem certainly the well we could defend rhymes from that i'm sure but in the field probably going to struggle we really only have some uh, mercs here to try and hold the line lots of money though so if there are a few more mercs available you can probably send them this oh, way I'm gonna oh. send the odd reinforcements that i have around here just to um try and yeah just change the balance of power in that part of the world over here with england they've um, they've got a load of boats so we're not going to send the, the fleet around anytime soon and scotland uh, don't really have the gusto to go and take on Oslo. They seem to have um, lost their courage, it should be said. So Otto van Kassel, you can head over here. Uh, Antwerp has still not been taken, so we might as well take that. And uh, yes, Bruges, 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 Bruges. The Polish went in the way, I might send them to reinforce, but probably not worth it. The English fleet looks a bit strong. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about England to finish them off here, because I don't think we need to absolutely kill them, but they certainly need to pay. Um, I'm not particularly pleased about the little Hamburg incident. Um, yeah, of course, we lost it for about a turn before we went and took it back almost instantaneously. That is indeed what a turn is, Thomas. Anyway, let's go and send these reinforcements over to Bordeaux just to make sure we've got some extra men in there and that everything is under control. Oh, yes, of course, we have Toulouse and... Prince Miguel himself. Ah, lovely. Let's take out two of these chaps in one go. Some auto resolve will honestly do the job on this occasion. Bit of a shame when it's a full on citadel, but to be honest, there weren't many units in there. It would have been a little bit of a disappointment. Oh, no, it wasn't a citadel. It's just it's ready to become a citadel. Well, we will. Should we even bother right now? Probably should, even though it costs a fortune. We have plenty of money, to be honest. Right, let's just merge those, unfortunately. Yes, unfortunately, I have. Um, I did ultra resolve, so we lost a few men, but actually not too bad. Just one unit of cav, one unit of infantry. Otherwise, we're in a pretty good place. Okay, lovely stuff. Well, we'll get ourselves a couple more units. We need some armored sergeants to hold the fort. Just grab the entire force and just immediately move on north. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my rebel friends. <laughs> One chap died. I always feel sad when one guy dies in the battle. Right, you go up to Angers. We'll go and take that in a turn or two. You're in a perfect spot to see all of France. And uh, yes, good, 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 good. The army of Sardinia and Sicily have joined together. They'll head over to Marseille. You, sir, yeah, head in. Why not? Yep, just two ballista. Wow, we're really doing overkill with that particular force, aren't we? Fine. Well, we'll go and send these chaps to hover around the borderlands just means they can switch over when needed looking good in that part of the world as for sicily they probably probably have got some more men in this citadel by now yeah they have i've got no way of dealing with all this nonsense i need to drop off one of these assassins actually i don't want both because to be honest i probably need to keep one over here to assassinate whichever guy gets pulled out of the, the never region so let's have a little pop at him when we get a chance naples 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 let's start just getting some assassins in these towns actually we should definitely be able to get some good assassins around pope land because my favorite game in this uh particular game is taken on the Pope. Oh, it's just like Hamlet. It's a play within a play. It is all of that nonsense. So um, I think for now, we just need to figure out what to do with this army over here. What are we going to do? Probably best to smash these guys in the field. We've got the Cav. We can probably completely annihilate them. Yeah, I think it's time to take on Frenchy Steve over here. However you're supposed to pronounce it. Is it Guillaume? I do not know. I'm terrible at French. Um, slowly picking up Spanish, but... Uh, French is still all Greek to me. Right, let's head into this. We should be fine. Um, yeah, they have tons of catapults. We've got massive cavalry advantage. We're just going to yeah, slaughter them. Well, isn't this absolutely glorious? We found ourselves a gorgeous mosque and our Crusader army has just intercepted the French forces before they go and take it out. 
Oh, I think it's time to defend our faith, my good men. Charge, boys. The Pavisa lads can probably just stay exactly where they are. Cavalry, time to thunder on forward immediately, I think, because they are... What are they doing with their crossbowmen? That's just strange. Okay, actually, Pavis lads can probably get slightly further forward right now because yeah, we're just going to charge into these guys. They don't really know what they're doing. Just a little bit too ballsy, I would suggest. Anyhow, I do love it when you get a little feature like this. It's actually a full-on mini town here. It's really unusual to see this in all my years of playing this game. It's a very rare occasion that you actually see that happen. I think our general just got splattered by onager fire. Now that is not good. I guess that's, um, that was kind of the trap, actually, Thomas, wasn't it? That was possibly their trap. I'm giving the AI too much credit here. Right, let's send our snipe force to go and take that out. Um, who are... Yeah, you're like Cav, so you're perfect for the job. We'll grab another two of our Imperial Knights just to head around and make sure we intercept those pretty quickly. To be honest, this might be one of those occasions... They're trying to burn down the mosque! Yeah, we really, we really need to fight... For our Lord at this time, ladies and gents, it's time to head in and finish off the perfidious Frenchies once and for all. Okay, get in to these chats. We need to clear them out before they cause us all sorts of problems. Um, yeah, yeah, they're charging on forward now. The fire bolts are not doing particularly good, and that's hardly surprising because when you haven't got experience, they are absolutely terrible. So these chaps probably just need to actually get into the flank at this point you sir just charge into those chaps let's get a little bit of a charge in fact is it worth our guys charging possibly possibly not possibly is looks like we've actually got on top of all of these catapult units which really was the main threat of their force right there okay Cav, get out of there no problem with any of that nonsense but we do need to just start getting around the back of them unfortunately the lack of maneuverability with Cav on this really has caused us an issue here. So, <laughs> they really struggle to get around anything, don't they? Right, you said turn away from them, start smashing into all of this nonsense. Probably just time to send the infantry in, to be honest. They can do their work. They can slaughter them, I suspect. Oh, my general! My general is not supposed to be getting himself killed. Get out of there! Get out of there, my jihadi hero! Please, please... Please don't die, don't die. Move faster. Move faster! Yeah, there he is. There's our Silver Surfer heading back towards the mosque in style. Yeah, swing back around so you get called a coward, my good friend. Um, yeah, I should probably start vaguely focusing on this battle because I feel like I'm doing a lot of weird misplays because I'm just enjoying the scenery so much that I'm uh, not really doing what I'm supposed to. All right, Spear Militia over there. Um, you guys into there. You guys into there. There are actually quite a few dismounted feudal knights. I need to actually be sensible and careful about all of this nonsense. Like Cav, get on top of the crossbowmen. You really don't want to get caught up in there. General, who at this point is actually pulling out of this particular affair. Um, Pavis lads, honestly, you should just stand and fight for the time being. Uh, it's not the end of the world. You are fairly good in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, this is <laughs> this is the most organised attack of all time, but I'm kind of enjoying the, the anarchy of all of this. Army. I'll be honest, when I'm not playing as the rebels, I do sometimes feel like I miss the anarchy. I miss the madness. I am somebody who likes a uh, sense and order in life um, to get things organised. So, yeah, I think sometimes a bit of anarchy is absolutely merited. Right, these Sergeant Spearmen are just standing around like melons, so uh, let's charge them in the back if you very much would, my good sirs. Let's get on top of... Actually, let's get on top of the general. He seems to be ambling around. General, get yourself over here. Preferably don't actually die, but, you know, get involved in the battle. You, sir, I don't know why you're running and chasing, but um, I seem to have sent you to your doom. So you might as well send all the infantry in to close the trap. Uh, a few mercenary... Mercenary? Um, oh, they are mercenary Frankish knights. Um, yeah, a few of those heading into the rear, but honestly, I think the battle the is done with that. Charge them down. There goes the king. Oh, it's not the king, but um, I'm doing a mini true nerd thing now. Every general is the king. We, we killed the king. Marvellous stuff. And that's the stronger army. And with that, Paris is pretty much ripe for the taking. And I think the French, I think the back has been broken here because Marseille is about to fall. Angers will soon fall. Toulouse has just fallen. 
I don't know what they've got up in Bruges, but I don't suspect it's a lot. Time to, um, yeah, for, yeah, 91% already. We have defended our faith here today, my good sirs. And to be honest, you can probably go for a little tour of the city, lads. Might as well. You're uh, you're off duty now. Go off duty. Go, um, go have a bit of a lovely time sightseeing over here. Really? Mon Dieu, no! <laughs> oh, pleading Frenchman. The best kind. <laughs> Apart from executed, of course. It's a little sound bite. Um, there, right there. Okay, the Reich is victorious. Um, a few bits of damage is done to our Crusader forces there. I really shouldn't have done that because, um, yeah, as a general rule, um, it's not a good idea to, um, yeah, merge the units on Jihad because obviously they all gained their own experience. So let's head in. Let's head in. <laughs> Spies have infiltrated. Probably not a good idea, to be honest. We'll put them under siege. We'll see what we do with that. We might well storm it at a later point. There are actually more infantry units available. We'll grab one more spearman. Why not? Let's they join the Jihad. You, sir, actually, really well worth you just jumping into the Jihad last minute because you'll gain yourself a load of stats for all the units here. So we'll, we'll, we'll get on retraining these chaps. A bit of merging would be nice if they actually want to do it, but I'm guessing the game's been a bit buggy with it, so I'll have to do it manually. As it turns out, Marseille has their gates wide open, and with that, another glorious victory, another sacking, and another big pile of money. Lovely stuff, and this army was really, really massive overkill, wasn't it? Um, what do they do now? They'll probably just go and head up to finish up Bruges or something like that. I do not know. We'll go and get Antwerp on the way through and we'll figure out everything else as we go. But it certainly looks like the resistance is uh, not going to turn up at this point. If you want to go to Bordeaux, you're welcome. It's not going to end well for you. And if you're wondering, Portugal are slowly, slowly begging for ceasefires every end turn, by the way. But um, three turns from the feet over here. Faction leader, two family members. And I think that's the last city they do have at their, yeah, their faction there over here ball. in North Africa. They seem to fail to take anything from the Moors on their weird expedition. I've given them plenty of time to do it, but alas, that uh, that will not work for them. So let's go and try and lop off someone's head over here. Another Sicilian should probably go down. Oh, this one has never worked in the history of Total War, I think. There we go, it's Just failed once again. Just Ooh, maim the that target indeed, sir. Let's have a go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, the brick off the top of the bridge. The best of them all, and the least likely to succeed, I feel. I should say that, obviously, they sneak up behind them and stab them in the back of the head with the market one. Seems to be the least likely, but it worked last time. So um, perhaps we'll see about that. It turns out not very long. That is the Sicilian king dead. I should probably point out that I um, may have slightly already just declared war by the last guy getting killed. But there we go. We've at least taken him out. And I suspect it's time for our army at this point of assassins to start heading ever, ever south. Maybe towards, yes, the Sicilian capital down there. Let's just have a go at the next chap. I'm not sure this one's too light to work. But, you know, you never know. The blow dart out of the... Uh, Old casket might work. Oh, Steve again. What is it with Steve today? Letting us down. Are we going to run into a corner? Maybe we escaped. Okay, well. Different destruction. Well, Sicily is doomed much in the same way as France is. I've gone and got myself a new army out of rhymes over there, which I really should rename to its proper name over here. So there we go. Good old city of rhymes and yet yeah, we were i just thought i'd send them on a little bit of a detour as a traditional for a jihad and there we go walk straight into bruges and with that we can oh we don't want to leave anyone there actually do we? we need to send them back on crusade so we'll just um go and put them under siege once more that is lovely lovely news now bruges itself might have a problem with this situation we'll convert that to a castle <laughs> just to try and keep it chilled 
if nothing else. Um, Antwerp, Antwerp, Antwerp. Ah, this army is not as bad as I half remembered, so that's okay. We'll put them under siege. No troubles over there. And yeah, down here, Marseille has fallen. Angers, Angers, Angers. Oh, yes. So, should we go and kill this guy? Oh, and of course the game's stupid and walks us in the way of him. No, it's fine. We'll just uh, put the Citadel under siege. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. So, I feel like France are going to collapse somehow. The last... Will they stop talking? Um, the last thing then is how to get revenge on England. And I suspect... I suspect we probably just need to make them pay and kick them off back to Britain. Give them a good old bit of 13th century Brexit. Yeah, 13th century Brexit. Perfect. We'll go with that, shall we? So, this army over here, you will send those three chaps straight into the city. They're still miserable. Of course they are. Uh, we'll, we'll get a spy just to make sure that everything's chill. One of those, one of those. That's a perfect defence force. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Um, okay, I should probably just call a, get this guy to be on jihad, at least just to get him moving forward. Depends how long I'm going to take to go and finish off Paris. Um, as for the English over here, they seem to have given up on all of that. The Scottish are still not on slow. What a strange, strange bunch of people. I think they've just come. I think they've just come for a drink, and we just locked the gates, and uh, they're just a bit confused. Why would they let us in? That was um, not a Scottish accent, but uh, there we are. Missed an ample opportunity for some Scottish accent work, but there we go. Right, well, let's get all of our assassins down south, finish them off, and uh, the Frenchies, well, it's just a matter of time. With Ren having fallen, Paris is only a few turns away, but before we get to that, should probably go and smash up the army at Cannes. So, firstly, those guys, honestly, just, just release those guys onto the boats with them, put them under siege, and to be honest, we will complete the victory there. Well done, England. You've been kicked back to the Isles. Beautiful stuff. Now, with that, it's just Paris left to go. And perhaps, perhaps a little bit of murder over here. In fact, to be honest, with Sicily, um, I kind of can't find his faction leader. They're the faction they're here and some random bloke over here. So I've kind of lost him. At this, oh, is this the crusade? No, it's not. I am not in your navy. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I seem to have lost the faction leader, so I'm just going to go sh send an army. To be honest, that feels like the best plan. We've got a load of Zweihanders on there. They even actually some forlorn hope who probably won't make it. To be honest, but um, I'm glad I managed to recruit one of them. Anyhow, oh yes, we are so so near the end now. Decided a random attack on Tunis was in order, just to go and make sure that the Spanish were gone. Just, um, they annoyed me in this game, so they're now destroyed. Marvellous stuff. I don't really want Tunis, although, I don't know, actually, might as well keep that. I might well, though, give uh, that over to, um, to the Moors at some point in time. But yeah, let's go and do that. I'm just going to go and repair all of this nonsense get that upgraded we'll grab the army and send them ever onwards calgary over here yes you're getting yourselves more units so i'm sure we can you know, we'll refresh these chaps and we'll get moving we have ourselves a few imams already i didn't actually realize we did but there we go apparently we've already been converting the area here we managed to now murder them Let's yeah, go and uh, get back to assassinating the Sicilians, the shall we? Probably it? time to end our turn. All sorts of nonsense ready to happen outside Paris. Indeed, they are going to send a desperate attack to try and hold off. But I don't think it's going to work. The prince and the king for one final stand outside Paris. Let's head in. Well, into position we go. There's a big pile of reinforcements just sitting in the corner there. They have more somewhere. Is it in the trees over there? Looks like it. Anyway, I'm pretty certain we can win our encounter over here. We are taking a little bit of fire. So, just going to start sending in their cavalry to do their job. Charge in, my sirs. Charge in. Clear them out. And they sent way, way too many mercenary crossbowmen. I don't think it's going to go well. I do love how we kind of carry this um, Christian cross with us as we go and kill the Christians. It's kind of funny. Nonetheless, uh, 
<laughs> it's the king of the prince. I think this is the prince, this one, isn't it? He doesn't seem very bothered in getting involved in any of this nonsense. No, we'll just send um, we'll just send all the infantry into him. They can clear him off. Their feudal knights pretty much seem to have given up on life before it's even started. Send some of those lads in that direction. Looks like the king uh, doesn't have any idea how to survive this. Pas français! Pas français! That will be the final words of the French prince there. He has fallen. Prince Gilles, 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 Blair. He has fallen. And with that, with that, there's only the king who. Where is he? Are they running away? I think. I think indeed they are. No, they're just hanging around in the corner. I just can't see them very well because uh, they're hiding in the forest. Okay, that's not a problem. Could deal with those in a minute then. Our reinforcement got myself set up that side of the farm, so we might as well get ourselves set over here. Turns out my allies are getting right into the battle here, so I'm just going to have to start charging forward. Um, get yourself over into this part of the world, lads. Cavalry, swing down to the catapults. Infantry, run over over to here, and they're, they're just shitting their own men. <laughs> the few general bodyguard they have. Yeah, the enemy king's just been shot by his own oranges. The French have decided to rebel. Who would have thought it? Plot twist of the century right there. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that probably means that we're going to struggle to take them all out here. But there'll be a little plod into, uh, into parody to finish it off with that. Yeah, that is it right there. They shot themselves in the back. And with that, the final stand of France has been pushed pathetically into their capital. Execute them all! And that begins the French. Uh, I didn't expect that to be the end, but there we are. They have fallen. I didn't have the option of the king, but maybe... Yeah, maybe my allies captured the king and decided to execute. So there we are. Man of the hour, Captain Conrad, also known as the great hero of the Jihad of Paradise. 57 units gain experience. That is magnificent. Regis regicide. Okay. <laughs> my uh, my father is not but a simple fool, say Sicily. No, I think I'm just going to murder you myself, actually, Sicily. Where is your just father, anyway? Uh, maybe he is a fool. Is He's probably wandered off dual. in the desert somewhere because Quickly I don't know where he is. Um, just names yes, target. Mr. Prince. You're not the prince either. Where is the... Where are they? Yeah. I have Who no idea what they're doing. There's the prince. He wants regicide. He'll... Nine. Okay. There is no way to reach this what is it when you kill the prince? Prince aside, what's the... <sighs> right, Reg, Rex, Reggie. Okay. Um, ignore all of that nonsense. Anyway, we've captured this. So we'll just go and send this army immediately in this direction. Mr. Boat over here can go and grab some chaps from Cagliari. And they can head over here. Oh, the Forlorn Hope were there. I forgot about the Forlorn Hope. They're supposed to be involved in all of this nonsense, aren't they? Indeed they are. You head over to Tunis next turn. You'll be fine. Tunis will be chill, probably. We'll give it some peasants. Why not? Give it some lovely, lovely peasants. We'll head over and finish off the Sicilians. Because that really is all that's there. there is left to do. The English are floating around but um as the, yeah i know <laughs> quite in your face at that aren't they we'll just make sure we've got a few men in our towns over here but uh overall yeah i'm just starting to get fleets into each um to each harbor just to make sure i've got something going on over here you go and defend antwerp you go and defend ren honestly this campaign it's been a grand success it should be said and um we we we, we launched this at the start i think you know, if we give ourselves a big pile of, um, yeah, just dump Islamic, Islamic Holy Roman Empire into the middle of Europe, how is this going to go? I mean, obviously the Holy Roman Empire are fairly strong. You can just go and smash up Italy straight away. I tried to make a conscious effort not to do that. But, um, yeah, yeah, we kind of did that quite quickly, didn't we? So we have the Moors still over here. They're still our friends. I think just to finish off, we need to go and kill Sicily. In spite of, um... The young prince's call for regicide. I think I think we'll just kill him instead. Interestingly, I've been forced into a truce with Sicily due to the Moors' alliance. 
very interesting state of affairs. Which has literally just turned up to murder them. So it's time to go and murder them. It's just Prince Nico himself, I think, sir. Yes, morbidly mortal you might be. Because my assassins are terrible, of course. Um, Red-blooded, paranoid, skewered, reserved, totally close, morbidly mortal and dauntless food tasting guard dog of a man i've ruined this chap's life probably time to cut him down as the sun sets in our campaign then i must say this castle is looking resplendent there's even a gorgeous fountain here we've sent in the surveyhander and the forlorn hope to go and finish off this last chap of sicily he is blooded he's fighting to the last and it is the forlorn hope right at the front to hack him down. It has been a glorious campaign, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, of course, there'll be a brand new series. There he goes, a brand new series very soon. The poll, well, I haven't looked at the poll today. I'm assuming the poll is looking very much in the favor of Medieval 2 once more. So uh, we will have a brand new campaign of that very, very soon indeed. And uh, quite what that will behold, well, you will just have to see I'm quite excited for it. Uh, if you vote for any of the other options there, then don't worry. I've got ideas for all those campaigns. They'll happen at some point or another. But um, for now, it's probably time to sign off from what's been an interesting campaign in many, many ways. But uh, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it quite a lot. Let's take a little look at the map before we leave it all behind Aww. us. Sicily have been ended. You asked for a regicide, sir... Okay, <laughs> you ask for regicide and you get a uh, prince aside, whatever the word is supposed to be. I cannot remember, alliance tatters with the Moors, oh, but I was going to give you that bit of land. I actually literally was, that was the whole plan. See if they'll take it. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the region, wherever it is in my long list of everything. Um... It's on here somewhere. There we are. There's Tripoli down at the bottom. It's a gift. Take it. Yay! There we go. Be our friend. Basalama. And there we go. With that, we have ourselves a slightly, um, slightly appeased friend. If nothing else, we'll get rid of the assassins. Don't worry. It's all fine. So um, we've largely, we've largely destroyed Catholicism. The Pope's still floating around. We could probably kill one more of him but to be honest I don't think we need to uh, we've somehow managed to keep peace the whole of the game on this side of the border don't know how that happened um, talk of the fog of war just, just have a quick check if anything interesting is going on oh Egypt really pushing into Turkish territory didn't realize they were fully on at war but there we go yeah each oh yeah the Mongols the Mongols turned up, didn't they? I'm not sure I made any big deal of that because nothing seems to have happened with them yet, but they're, they are bumbling around. Got a bit caught up in the Caucasus Mountains there. Yeah, to be honest, I've kind of ruined the map. Everything else has largely stayed as you might well expect, but a bit of interesting play from Egypt, if nothing else. I'm about to say the Moors are doing well, but it's because I just gave them Tripoli. To be honest, they're doing perfectly fine. And of course, um, None of this is woken up yet, so no need to worry about any of that. Well, as I said, it was an interesting little experiment into dumping a Catholic, um, or dumping an Islamic faction in the middle of Catholic Europe. The game runs very well at this, though. I haven't really had any bugs or issues. It's run smoothly. No issues with any of that nonsense. But yes, as I say, I will leave you for now. Um, the Moors are about to <laughs> step in the back. Um, I will leave you for now. I am Thomas. This is Tenerd Stikimin, and this has been our Islamic Holy Roman Empire campaign. Thank you. And Basalama. Execute. Sorry! A lot of arrows coming in. That's a lot of jam. <laughs> the red line of doom is not your friend anymore, sir. No, it is not. No, it is not. <laughs> Come on! Come on! No!